This is yet another policy meeting where the question is not if the MPC will cut, but by how much the MPC will cut. Uh, we will see rates most likely uh, cut uh, this time around, 110 basis points in rate cuts already. Over and above that, you will likely see a rate cut of at least 25 basis points. Uh, that is what a poll uh, of economists is broadly suggesting. Uh, we're at 540 now. If you uh, do 25 basis points, uh, you'd come down well below that. Uh, but there is a range of expectations. Some people saying they may actually do 40 and round it off at 5. Uh, some people saying they'll do 35. Remember last time we got a 35 basis point cut. So uh, that uh, tried and tested formula of 25 or 50 no longer exists. So the expectation broadly is that you will see a rate cut somewhere between 25 and 40 basis points. Just stay with this chart for a minute uh, because I think the uh, language that uh, will be used to you know, to argue a 25 or a 40 basis point cut would be very, very important. Uh, if the governor does 25, he will probably clearly indicate that there is more in the offing beyond the stance, which will remain accommodative. Now, if he does 40, uh, give, will he give us a sense of how low rates can go in the current cycle? Uh, I think that's the question that everybody is asking. Uh, we used to have a benchmark of real rates, but the governor has now said more than once that they can't use that benchmark because they have a target of a headline uh, inflation and they can't have multiple targets. So then how do we judge how low rates can go in this current cycle. Can they go to four and a half, even below that? I think that's the nuance uh, that central bank watchers will be looking for uh, if there is a cut, say, of about 50 or uh, 40 basis points uh, steeper than the 25 that is being expected. So that certainly is something to watch. The number, the stance, and then the nuance behind the stance uh, as to where repo rates are headed in the economy. Uh, now, uh, you know, obviously the big uh, talking point will remain growth. Uh, between the August meeting and this meeting, we've got the 5% shocker of a GDP number. Not everybody believes that things improved in the second quarter either. So you could see a weak second quarter number. Uh, now the complexity here is that the Reserve Bank of India kept its forecast at 6.9% for FY20. Nobody believes India can do 6.9% growth in FY20. Uh, will the uh, Reserve Bank of India peg down their forecast sharply? Uh, you know That has a little bit of a confidence impact as well when you see the central bank cutting growth forecast that sharply. So will they again remain on the higher end and say 6.5 uh, and maybe miss their uh, growth estimates for a second year running, uh, we don't know. So we'll watch to see how they justify uh, their growth rate expectation on growth and also what their analysis of growth is. Last time around, the governor said he doesn't believe it's structural. Since then, uh, the annual report in the RBI has talked about a soft patch uh, converting into a cyclical slowdown, but then it went on to say that structural changes are needed to get growth back up. So again, structural, cyclical uh, and the outlook for the economy will very much be in focus uh, when the governor speaks and the MPC releases its resolution. Inflation, I'm not going to spend very much time uh, because demand driven inflation is very much at base. Yes, there is a pickup in some urban food prices. Onions are in the headlines again. Uh, but if you're looking at the core inflation number, demand-driven inflation, that's been low. It's come off quite steeply as well. Uh, so I don't think there will be uh, much uh, angst on inflation as yet. Uh, but will there be angst on fiscal deficit? Now, that's another interesting and important question. Last time's monetary policy resolution stayed away from any debate on fiscal. Uh, since then, two things have happened. One, of course, the tax cuts, which a lot of people can say is a structural change, is actually positive for for inflation in the long term, positive for lower inflation in the long term. But there has been other developments as well, such as the uh, shortfall on GST revenues continuing. We've seen GST collections come off quite steeply in the latest month to about 91,000 crore. So is the MPC going to take note of a possible fiscal slippage? Again, uh, something to watch out for in both the resolution and the governor's comments uh, that follow. Uh, two other things I want to point out uh, and uh, things that will be watched out for both by the markets and by the banking sector. Uh, this is on liquidity and credit. Uh, we've put these in one chart, but there are two separate things actually. Uh, on liquidity, now, you know, we got the report uh, that the RBI was working on, which was the liquidity framework report. That disappointed the markets because the markets thought that the RBI will move to a scenario where the liquidity stance moves along with the monetary policy stance. The RBI didn't do that. They said that they would prefer to see liquidity remained in a mild deficit, except if financial conditions warrant. So the market is now back to an uncertain scenario to see what financial conditions at the current juncture warrant. So they will be looking out for the word neutral, uh, some assurance of neutral liquidity, at least in the current context. Uh, the reason I put the commercial credit chart here is because, you know, the issues with the banking system have not gone away now for a good three to four year period. Uh, we've had problems in the commercial banks, the asset quality cleanup, then the shortage of capital in public sector banks, then the asset liability mismatches that cropped up in the NBFC sector, some issues of 
misgovernance in the NBFC sector and now an issue with a cooperative bank, which while not large, is a, not a segment that can be ignored. So we do want to hear from the governor and the RBI team as to how they are strengthening supervision uh, in the banking system, giving out some confidence, uh, which is crucial for the economy at this point in time. So lots to watch out for. Uh, Friday is when the Monetary Policy Committee delivers its decision and the RBI holds its press conference.